Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the Powered by WordPress message on the footer of your WordPress site. Now, it may look like this. For example, I'm using the 2021 theme here. You can see it says proudly powered by WordPress at the bottom. I'm gonna show you how to change or remove that. Now, if you're using a different theme, you may see something like this in your footer. It says uh, the copyright or powered by a specific theme company. I'll also show you how to change that using an easy method and then a more advanced method later in the video. So let's first start with the easy method. Now we're currently logged into our WordPress site using the Bloxy theme. Now, depending on your theme, obviously this will change a bit. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the default 2021 theme, but right now I'm gonna show you on the Bloxy theme and this should be similar on all themes. So we're gonna go up to customize you can also find this in your dashboard under Appearance Customize. So now, now we're customizing the site and you can see here Bloxy has an option for footer. We can go into there and you can modify the footer here. And if I just click the copyright row, I can now edit the message there. Instead of having the copyright that they have there, I can put whatever text I want. Now other themes will most likely be under Customize just like this was. For example, it will be under Customize and then something like Footer or Theme Options. Now let's just go back to the 2021 theme. Now this will be the same for all default WordPress themes. Now like I said, you go to Customize and you can see here that there's no options to edit the footer and you cannot remove the message here. Sadly, the default themes don't have an option built in to do that. But luckily there's a plugin to add the functionality which can be installed by going to your admin going to plugins, add new. And the plugin we're gonna add is called remove powered by. And you can see here the remove powered by WordPress plugin uh, by WebD. We're gonna install it and activate it. Now what this plugin actually does is adds a new option to your customized panel that lets you remove the message from the default set of WordPress themes. So if you're using any of the 2021, 20, 2019, 2020 WordPress themes, all of those will work with this plugin. So we're gonna to go to Appearance, we're gonna to go to Customize, and you can see now there's a new option called Theme Options, and it says Remove Powered by WordPress. So we can scroll down, you can now see that it's gone, and if we uncheck that, it'll show up again. So we want to have that hidden. And that's how you remove the powered by WordPress message in your footer or change a copyright. Now, obviously using a plugin isn't the best solution. So I'm going to show you a more advanced solution, actually editing a child theme. So let me go ahead and remove this plugin now. So we're back on our site and you can see the proudly powered by WordPress is still here. Now we actually want to remove this in code. That's going to involve editing the themes functions.php file. There are a lot of ways to edit your theme files. The best way is to create a child theme and then modify it from there. For example, if you edit just the theme files by themselves, it'll actually wipe out your changes when an update comes out for the theme. But if you have a child theme, the changes won't be wiped away when you update your theme. So let's go and make a child theme for the 2021 theme. And that can be done by actually using a plugin called child theme. So we'll just call a, we'll just type in child theme here. And you can see this plugin right here called child theme generator. Now what this is gonna do is actually make a child theme for our site. And after we do that, we can deactivate the plugin. So let's create our child theme here. It knows that we're using the 2021 theme. We can give it a new heading and description. And any other details you want to add, we'll just leave them as is right now and we'll create a child theme. And of course we want to activate the child theme. So now let's go to our themes. So now you can see I have the new child theme that we just made here. It's called My Site and it uses 2021 as the base theme. So if you go back to our homepage, you can see it's the, still the same theme, but now we have a good base for making modifications by having a child theme. Now, how do we actually edit the child theme? Well, we're gonna have to log into our FTP and actually modify the files and code. So I'm gonna be using an FTP client called Cyberduck. It's available on Windows and Mac. There are a lot of other FTP clients you can use. And if you don't know your FTP login, contact your web host, they can give you that information. But we already have our FTP information set up here, so let's connect. And we'll go into our files. WP content, themes, and you can see here we have our my site theme. That's the new one that I generated. And then we have our 2021 theme. So let's go into the my site theme. You can see there's only three files here. These are kind of the standard files for a child theme. 
Now, since we want to edit the site's footer, we're actually going to have to copy the code referenced into our child theme. So let's go back here and we'll go into the 2021 theme. And you can see here, these are all the theme files. We do not want to edit the files in here because that'll overwrite the changes if an update comes out. So that's the entire reason we have the child theme. So what we want to do is actually duplicate one of the files. So I'm actually going to do that by dragging the footer.php file into a folder just so we have it handy. And then we'll go back up here and we'll go back out and we'll go into our my site theme, which is our child theme. And now we want to add the footer.php file in here. So now you can see we have the footer.php file inside of our child theme. Now, what this is actually doing is when WordPress loads the footer, it knows that we have the child theme active. So it'll actually know to use the footer.php file from our child theme rather than the actual theme. So what we're gonna do is actually edit our footer.php file. In CyberDuck, we can just right click it and hit edit with, and we'll use Adam. So now we have our PHP file here. And if we scroll down, we can actually see the powered by WordPress message right here. And what we're gonna do is actually just erase this. And I'll hit save. And CyberDuck will automatically upload the file back to our child theme. Of course, you could just drag the file out, edit it on your computer, and then re-upload it. So let's go and view our site now. Let me refresh the page here, and I'll scroll down. And you can see now the Powered by WordPress message is gone. And if we go back and edit our file, of course, we can add a different message there. So let me uh, undo the change, actually and we can erase what they have here. If you're creating a theme for other people to use, you might want to uh, use these attributes because they're for translations. But since we're just making the change for our WordPress site here, we're gonna just erase that and we'll write in what we want. For example, the copyright with the current year, we'll save the file and let's refresh. And you can see now we have that message on the bottom right. And of course, if you want your copyright to dynamically update, we'll just do that real quick by adding some PHP and we'll echo the, the date in the current year. And we'll save and let's refresh. And you can see we have the current year and that'll actually update for every year. Obviously there's much to learn in PHP and you can do a lot with it, but this was just a quick overview of how to modify your site's footer and remove the powered by WordPress message. And of course this will work on any theme. Typically I'd recommend looking up your theme and seeing if there's a child theme already created also, but that plugin for generating a child theme should work for any theme. So you just make the child theme using that plugin and then copy over the file you wanna modify into the child theme folder. And then after that you can make your changes and then you don't have to worry about losing them if the plugin updates. And then you can deactivate the plugin that made the child theme and then you're good to go. I hope this video was helpful and remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. See ya.